The Soyuz continuing to close just about 20 meters away now from docking. The International Space Station and the Soyuz actually just about to pass over the United Kingdom, home to one of the astronauts in, uh, inside that Soyuz craft right now, Tim Peake, uh, the first British astronaut to make the journey to the International Space Station. Mark, the range rate is minus 0 0.14. Everything's going nominally. Copy. Transition to menu. We activated the route. And send the and so the core's automated rendezvous uh, moving the Soyuz back. They're going to switch over to uh, what's known as TORU, the manual controls, uh, allowing Malench Co. to dock the vehicle uh, manually. We confirm that DPO thrusters have stopped, have stopped firing. And we are performing the retrograde maneuver. We copy. And we can confirm that. Would you come again? We have, have you selected the POB? And the um, station is in OSK. We copy. OSK. Okay, we are going to send the stable command. And we confirm that we have stable. So, no indication at this time why the Soyuz craft backed off uh, momentarily. Right now it's at a range of 140 meters. We are in the uh, but manual. getting confirmation that the uh, the manual controls uh, we have being activated, uh, the Toru docking controls for the Soyuz craft. Root controller, now send get five command. Get five command has been sent. And on your go, please initiate final approach. And the um, recommended delta V should be 0 0.2. Copy. Get, get five command has been sent. What did you say? Get five has been sent. Copy. Get five. So the crew on board the Soyuz working hand in hand with the Russian Mission Control Centers in Koryov uh, as they discuss their forward plan and options. Uh, looking like uh, the Soyuz craft uh, now continuing to push in uh, on a docking. So the final approach resuming. Could you please monitor the flood lamp activation S-17 command? The flood lamp has been activated. So we do not need to repeat the GAP-5 command? No, no, you do not need to send it once again. So we do not need to send it. No. We copy. And just in case, punch in G15. 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 Are you ready? I am. Send it. So, how is the vehicle behaving? Pretty well. And now perform the retrograde maneuver. 
copy. Retrograde maneuver in work. How is the vehicle behaving on course? Yes, Let me see. Okay, we're sending. We confirm that depot was thrusters perform the firing. So the crew right now testing the vehicle's controls, again working hand-in-hand uh, -hand with the right Russian the flight controllers in uh, Mission we Control Moscow. Range rate, we copy. Unintelligible. And the range rate, uh, the range is 50 and please stay in the station keeping mode. Yuri Ivanovich, please report. We are we lost signal and we do not get any picture. Yeah. No video at all. We copy. So we see the docking mechanism at the center and we are performing the fly around of the docking mechanism. We copy. And now send the get five command, please. It work. And on the OSK, we do not see too much there at such a range, but once we get a little bit closer, too much interference, unintelligible. Please continue with the fly around. So again, right now the crew on board the Soyuz uh, still targeted at the Rosviet module. Um, the automated docking uh, was aborted. Um, so now standing by uh, for the forward plan, uh, the crew working with the uh, controllers in the Russian Mission Control Center in Moscow. You can see a balcony camera view here. So, what is the range, Yuri? What's your estimate of the range? Right now, I see only the docking mechanism in the OSK uh, on the oscilloscope, and I'm going to move closer to the station, and we'll be able to tell better what's the range. Agari, reporting, we see the docking mechanism and we are performing the approach maneuver. Do you see the docking mechanism? Affirmative. And um, how much of the screen does the docking mechanism take? And like what's 0.75? So the range is approximately 120 meters. Copy. Yuri, Yuri, how is the vehicle behaving? I can see FGB. It's pretty good. And I see FGB, and the range is about 100 meters. We confirm. 
Сейчас вот вышли на, на стык мышцы. And we are at the axis, at the docking axis with Garby. So Malenchenko reporting uh, they're at a distance of about 100 meters right now from the International Space Station back in that station keeping uh, position. Range rate. Well, hold it at zero point. Uh, where they just make sure that they're lined back up with the Rosviet module still uh, waiting on what the forward plan is going to be for the crew members. Uh, and that's going to be coming from the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, but a uh, very experienced commander at the sticks, Yuri Malenchenko. Uh, so continuing to stand by, they're camping out at about 100 to 120 meters away right now. Uh, the forward plan should be coming shortly. And the size of the docking mechanism is about one or two squares. And we are approaching, so the range is about 50 meters, guys. Affirmative. The range is about 45 meters, and we can see much better. Copy. And we can see the target already. And please go into the burn rood mode. And we see the crosshairs, and we're going to verify our location in regards to the axis. We already see the docking mechanism, however, we do not see the target yet. We copy. Everything's going nominally. Uh, we are aligning the crosshairs, and the range rate is about 0 0.1, 0 0.2. We copy. So the Soyuz once again approaching uh, the Rosviet module on the International Space Station for docking. That's unintelligible. That's okay. At the range of three meters, please perform station keeping. I recommend keeping and to do the station the keeping at, at the range of three angles. meters and check copy. the angles uh, with respect to the station. Copy. 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 Thank copy. you. And the range now is less than 30 meters. We are verifying the alignment of the crosshairs, and we can see the target clearly. And what is the range, guys? Come again, Moscow. Could you verify what range you're at? It's less than 20 meters. Copy. It's 3.5 squares, and we are verifying the alignment of the crosshairs. We copy, and please, if, a reminder, guys, please activate the translation and hand controller pulse mode per your discretion. Copy. The Soyuz video feed uh, going to be losing signal shortly. Uh, again, the Soyuz craft uh, moving in manually uh, for docking to the Rosviet module. What is the automated course the rendezvous uh, aborting, but uh, manual docking is something these crews train for extensively uh, using the telerobotically operated control panel or the TORU. Uh, Yuri Malenchenko, the commander of the Soyuz, uh, at the controls as they continue to move in less than 30 meters away. Approach burn. 
and the discrepancy between the alignment of the crosshairs is minimum. And please prepare get five command. Be ready to send it. I am ready. VEP-5 correction, VEP-5 command, and we're sending the VEP-5 command in work. Could you send it once again? Copy. VEP-5 command sent. We do not have the flag up, but and we also don't see the SSVP docking and transfer system flag up yet. Okay, now we we see it. We got it. Okay, we see that the flag, SSVP, docking and transfer system flag has been set. The uh, misalignment of the crosshairs is minimal. Are we copy? Could you please report your range? Uh, the range is still 3.5 squares on the monitor, and the crosshairs have been aligned. Now we are performing the in the stable mode, and stabilizing the vehicle, and we are going to be ready for approach. Copy. All right, we are sending the com approach command. The crosshairs have been aligned, and please perform docking. Copy. What do you want? All right, the size of the target is about two squares. We are performing a slight retrograde maneuver. And we see we confirm approach, and I uh, confirm that the crosshairs are aligned and we are approaching the station. Copy, and you guys have about three seconds for approach. All right, the range is three meters. Copy, three meters is the range. Let's, uh, so he's very close now to Rosfiat. We'll be relying on telemetry to uh, hopefully get an exact capture time for you. All right, we're standing by for contact. Copy, standing by for contact. Contact has been confirmed. Yeah, we confirm. And the visiting vehicle officer here in Houston confirming contact and capture has occurred. So Tim Coper, Yuri Milenchenko, and uh, Timothy Peak now uh, docked to the International Space Station at uh, coming at uh, 11.33 a.m. Central Time, 12.33 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, while the station was flying 252 statute miles uh, over the country of India. So again, contact and capture confirmed, 11.33.